Hi, in this video we're going to work exercise 11-6. This is a pro problem that instructs students and teaches the impact of increasing volume on total fixed cost, total variable cost, total cost, and then also how that impacts cost per unit, fixed, variable, and total cost per unit when fixed and variable are combined. So, in this table, we're given the impact of $6,000 or 6,000 units on costs and at that level of volume. Fixed costs are 60,000. Variable costs are 60,000 for a total cost of 120,000. Cost per units, $10 fixed and also $10 variable. Total cost per trophy, total $20. We're asked to complete uh, the same column again for 8,000 units, 10,000 units, and 12,000 units. So we're going to fill in the missing activity levels and complete that the rest of the table. And then we're going to answer a question B. So let's fill out the table first and then we'll go back and complete B. So letter A first. Well, fixed cost is assumed to be the same amount fixed, the cost is fixed, is not moving within the relevant range. So for instance, let's say a store, your favorite store, Dollar General, Walmart, wherever, and it's, you know, 75, 100,000 square feet, right? All the managers that we need to run the store in place, fixed cost, store's doing great, but if you notice every time you go in, it's super busy, shelves are not full, and then, they announced we're going to add on to the store. The relevant range was the store originally. Now that it's been added on to, the relevant range has changed. Probably have more managers. Fixed cost. That's an example of fixed cost remaining fixed within a relevant range. So, with, let's just assume this is the relevant range. Fixed cost will remain the same within the relevant range. That's it. So units go up to 8,000, 10,000, 12,000, fixed cost remains the same. Now, total fixed costs remain the same, okay? So this is total fixed cost, they remain the same. Conversely, variable cost per unit remains the same. Variable cost per unit remains the same. As we increase volume, Variable cost per unit did not change. Okay, it did not change. Now, up to this point, I've only addressed these two concepts. I would make a note. This is important. You got to know this. Okay, probably on the test, some form of this. Okay, so fixed cost per unit will not change as volume increase well, within the relevant range. We could have started here at 12 and gone that way. As long as we're in the relevant range, total fixed cost remains the same. Same thing for variable, up, down, yeah, up, down, down, up, no matter what way we're going, as long as we're in the relevant range, variable cost per unit remains the same. Fixing to change the rules a little bit, but this is important to know, okay? So they don't change. Fixed cost total doesn't change. Variable cost per unit doesn't change. What does change? Well, as volume increases, total variable cost will also increase. So now, because variable cost per unit doesn't change, $10 times 8,000. <laughs> what did I do? Ah, I was talking and I didn't hit the 8,000. There we go. Let me sure it up. I might have to, yeah, I, I messed that up so bad. Sorry. And I'm not going to change the video I could just cut it out and there we go 80,000 could have done it in my head faster you, you probably did too but anyway so we'll just leave that in all right so and then same thing for 10,000 it'd be 10,000 units times $10 100,000 12,000 12, units times 10 or 120,000 right and I've already got the formula set up in Excel so there we go there's plus all right, so I can carry that over, okay? So, total costs increase. Obviously, it's going to increase. 
because variable, total variable costs increase with an increase in volume. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we go from 120, 140, up to 180, okay? All the while, total fixed costs did not change. So total costs are increasing as we increase volume because total variable costs increase, okay? Something you gotta know, very important, have to understand that. So how do costs behave? Fixed costs do not, total fixed costs do not change within the relevant range. Total variable costs increases in the relevant range as we increase volume, okay? Well, by now, hopefully you're starting to see where fixed cost per unit is going to go. As, as volume increases, the fixed cost per unit decreases. And think about it. The fixed costs at Walmart are very small per unit. They're selling a lot of green beans and pork and beans and whatever else they sell, right? Their fixed cost per unit is very little. The jewelry store, though, whatever jewelry store, right? Zales, Zare, I don't know the name of jewelry stores. Harrods? Is that one of them? Anyway, Zales, I don't know. So anyway, so th they don't sell a lot, not compared to Walmart, right? They, their, their great day is probably a few necklaces, earrings, and a few rings, and that's just a great, awesome day, right? Well, that's not a lot of volume, so their fixed cost per unit is a whole lot more than Walmart, okay? Well, jewelry stores have one business plan. Walmart or other retailers that sell in volume have another plan. So retailers or companies that sell in volume know their fixed cost per unit is going to be a little lower. A jewelry store with a higher, with a lower volume, their fixed costs are higher per unit, different game plan, different battle. Okay. So anyway, anyway let's calculate these. So it's still going to be 60,000 for 8,000, 10,000, 12,000, $60,000 fixed costs. What we're going to do is we're going to divide by the number of units. And as we increase the units, the denominator increases, the answer is going to be, or the smaller, fixed cost per unit is going to be smaller. So it'll be 750 for 8,000. Obviously, uh, 60,000 divided by 10 will be even smaller. And then all the way up to 12,000. Okay. So that means the total cost per unit will shrink as volume increases because fixed costs decrease while variable costs remain the same or constant. And I'm going to let Excel do the work for me. So we go from 20,000 down to 15,000. I've addressed B, but let's hit it anyway. Um, explain why the total cost per trophy decreases as the number of trophies increase. In other words, why does the total cost per unit decrease as the number of units increase? The total cost per unit decreases from 20 to 15 as volume increases 6,000 to 12,000 because the same amount of fixed costs, 60,000, is spread over larger and larger number of units. Just like I said, the denominator gets bigger and bigger and bigger while the numerator, 60,000, remains the same. That's the reason. I, I would, it would behoove every student to thoroughly understand the concepts in this. They seem paradoxical, confusing, because we're saying total fixed cost doesn't change, total, um, Variable cost per unit doesn't change, but total variable cost increases and fixed cost per unit decreases. Seems on the surface at first blush, maybe possibly, you know, it's not common sense. It doesn't make sense, but as you dig into it, it is the only way this works. And when you get to the point where you see that it's the only way it works and it makes sense and you're past memorizing, you're going to be good to go. So get to that point, and I think you'll be good on those kind of questions on your exam. And plus, it'll help you work the homework problem. If you have any questions, email me.